Do you want to learn how to install a custom ROM on your Xiaomi Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. What's up peeps, Munchie here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom ROM on your Xiaomi Poco F1. To note, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those things, they are linked in the description of this video. Next thing you need to make sure is that you have backed up your data because we're going to do a factory reset of the device and you will lose all your pictures, videos, documents, all the things which you have on your phone. Next thing to ensure is that you've charged your battery at least 50 to 60%. As you can see right now, my battery is at 91%. So do not install a custom ROM if your battery is around 10 or 20%. I recommend having a minimum of 50% of charge. Let's now go into settings, go into about phone and as you can see right now I am running MIUI 10.1.3.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi. Let's now see what all files we need to install a custom ROM. So you need the ROM zip file and if the ROM zip file does not have Google Apps then you need the open Google Apps. I personally use OpenG Apps, the nano package. Whether you want to choose the nano package, the micro package, the full package is your own personal wish. Other than that, you need the latest vendor zip file for the Xiaomi Poco F1 and disable force encryption zip file. Links to open Google apps, the vendor and disable force encryption zip file are in the description of this video. If you ask me where to find the custom ROMs, you can find them on XTA developers. I've linked the POCO F1 subforum for ROMs, kernels and recoveries and development in the description of this video as well. If you ask me, how do you know whether a ROM has Google Apps baked in or not? Well, let's go ahead and take the example of the Pixel Experience ROM. If you read the first post, they do mention whether the ROM has Google Apps or not. So for Pixel Experience, they clearly mention that do not flash G apps, they are already included. Let's now have a look at bootleggers. So bootleggers ROM clearly mentions that you need to have G apps, which is open G apps in the download section. So this is how you determine whether a ROM needs Google apps package or not. Next thing we need to do is remove all lock screen passwords, security and all the accounts from a Xiaomi Poco F1 because we're going from stock to a custom ROM and I don't want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. Go into settings, lock screen and password, remove all your pins, password, face unlock, fingerprints. Once you have done that, go back, scroll down a little bit, go into me account and remove your Xiaomi me account as well. Once that is done, go back, go into sync and if you have a Google account set up on your Xiaomi Poco F1, remove that as well. Once you have confirmed all these things, go ahead and turn off your Xiaomi Poco F1. Once you have turned the device off, press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo. Once we are on the twerp recovery boot logo, first thing we need to do is click on wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik, cache, system and data and then swipe to wipe. Once the process has finished successfully, click on the home button, click on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the zip files which we need to install a custom ROM. The first file which you need to install is the latest vendor, this guy over here. Now if you ask me why we installed the latest vendor, well it contains updates to the vendor partition from MIUI beta firmware. So it is recommended to install the latest firmware, select this guy and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once vendor zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install. The next thing which we need to flash is the ROM itself. Now, if the ROM comes with Google Apps, then you don't have to install anything else, only the ROM zip file. If the ROM does not come with Google Apps, then you need to click on add more zips and add the Google Apps zip file. In my case, we're using OmniROM. It does not come with Google Apps. I'll go ahead and select the OmniROM zip file, click on add more zips and then click on the open Google Apps zip file and then swipe to confirm the flash. Once the ROM and Google Apps zip file have finished installing successfully, click on the home button, click on install one more time. And now we need to install the disable force encryption zip file. If you ask me why we are installing this, we are installing this so that your device is not forcefully encrypted. And if you install this zip file, you will not have any issues with updating the ROM. Click on disable force encryption zip file and then swipe to confirm the flash. 
Once the disable force encryption zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on wipe, click on format data and type in yes. Do note this is where we are erasing everything from your device, your pictures, videos, documents will be lost. Make sure you back them up, there is no going back from this point. Once you've confirmed those things, click on the check mark button on the bottom right. Once format data process has finished successfully, go ahead and click on reboot system. And now we will wait for our custom ROM boot animation. And boo yeah, there it is, OmniROM boot animation in the building, which means we have successfully installed OmniROM based on Android 9.05 on a Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note the first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient and you need to hold your horses. That's it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.